spoon stacks? Yes, it is. More power. More power. Is the book any good so far? Um, it's all right. You hate making new friends? Well, we, we are new friends now, whether you like it or not. I'm spending more time watching Tay than TV tonight. Yes! Hi, Lacey. Hello. Lacey, are you? I'm following you. Why don't I see you on the bottom? Lacey, you're the one who wanted me to apply for VIP for you. Hello. Welcome. You're Caitlin's friend. Welcome to my scope. We're reading this book, and I was going to say something else, but I got distracted. It is obvious that things are much more like they used to be than they are now. Things are much more like they used to be than they are now. Whoa, are you being a cunning linguist? Um, oh, yeah, Steve, you were saying you're spending more time. Yes, I've pretty much stopped watching TV since I found Scope. So every once in a while. Yes, I was going to charge you $10. Yes. What? Wait, what? Remember to go for the ears? I was not going to say that. That was not what I was going to say. All right. How to effectively follow up on your conversations. Martin Johnson said, You cannot guarantee good fruits from a tree which has not been properly taken care of. No friends and family discount. No, we're not friends and family yet. We don't even know each other. I was so sure that was it. Chapter 5. This is Chapter 4. This scope is most interesting. It's past my bedtime now. Oh, thank you. You guys are all so nice. I love this. All right, anecdotes. We skip all anecdotes. Boo on anecdotes. <clears throat> oh, no. Networking. Oh, no, no. No. Oh, you get their business card. You call them. Follow up. Don't procrastinate. Be consistent. Be persistent. Be patient. Plan your follow-up. Advance the conversation. Send follow-up emails. Personalize outgoing social media connection requests. Respond to incoming connections requests. Pick up the phone or schedule a video conference. Plan an interesting in-person meeting. Send resources that might be helpful. Monitor your network activities and offer your help. Use mutual connections to boost credibility. Give referrals. Celebrate achievements. Contact someone you haven't been in touch with for a long time. Request a lunch and learn. Participate in professional organizations. Toastmasters, you guys. Toastmasters International? Yes, definitely. Thumbs up all the way. You're going to get one glass of wine. Awesome, Steve. Let's do it. Ruby Fruit Jungle. What is that? I'm going to get ADD if you keep stopping. Sorry, Magnus. <laughs> Why are you hating on anecdotes? Clever title. Thank you. Pinot Grigio? Oh. Common Sense. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Lacey. It's like lame, lame, lame. Next page. Same thing. Candy. Exactly. Attend alumni events. Speak at events. I like that one. Write articles, books, or podcasts. <laughs> Dating people you meet at conferences. Buy someone's products or service. Send real mail. And the last one is wait. Oh, yeah, like, don't be, like, annoyingly, like, don't be, like, texting them every two seconds. You just finished the vodka? What does that mean? You can't do public speaking, but aren't you a scoper? I bet you would be a better public speaker than you think. How do you write a podcast? It, it's like writing a script. You always say stuff like this. I failed speech class twice. LOL. It was a requirement. <laughs> Crap. That's annoying. <laughs> I didn't have speech class. It's ironic. I think you can. You just don't want to, maybe? I bet you could. I bet you could. Smart talk challenge number one. A sculpture. You turn red. Oh, it's probably cute. And maybe just have makeup on and no one will be able to tell. Like me, I have a little bit of makeup on it right now. I'm not very good. You mean I like to nitpick? No, you just don't seem to understand what transcription is. I speak at a lot of conferences. It's hard to be a wallflower after giving a speech. That's for sure. That's for sure, Steve. You calling her what? You calling her a wimp? No. Trust me, it's not a good look. <laughs> oh. It's We always think of ourselves worse than other people see us. We always think we look... Way worse than we look to other people. Like, even right now, I'm like, whoa, my nose is so red. I look so red. And then even when I watch my replays, I'm like, I wasn't really that red. I mean, I didn't look as crazy as I think, thought I looked in the moment. And people are like, I don't, I'm just looking at your wings. Can you just read the damn book? Like, you just notice the wings? They're fun. They're a good time. 
you got dizzy when speaking. I wonder if it's because you have anxiety. I wonder if, uh, Lacey, if you're still in here, I don't know why you're, you're I, all I see on the bottom is Jen. I don't see Cotton Candy or Lacey on the bottom. You have the most confidence. I just can't publicly speak. Um, you have anxiety? Okay, yeah. I wonder if that's why. I wonder if that's why. It's like fight or flight reaction. Yeah, or uh, it's fight, flight, or freeze. And freeze is often the reaction for that. You know, stage fright. It's like, you just freeze. Panic. I think I might have missed. She's an angel, not a saint. <laughs> You're back? Welcome back, Born Perfect. Thanks for coming back. Am I an angel from heaven? No. I was born this way. Thanks for that. Freeze is avoidance? I would say yes. <clears throat> You're always more articulate, th articulate than you think you are. Focus on one receptive person in the crowd. Yeah, totally. Yeah, if you can find one person who's smiling and nodding, just stare at them. <laughs> uh, smart talk challenge number one. Choose one person in your personal or professional network and reach out to them right now. Choose a method of follow-up that you've never tried before. Go ahead. What are you waiting for? Let's just do it, guys. Let's do it. Lick your lips at them. I licked my lips just because I read that. Not in a sexy way, though. I don't think I know how to do sexy things. Epictetus and cognitive behavior therapy may help with anxiety. Agreed. Ooh, that's a cool tongue emoji. I can't see stuff like that on my Android. Enunciate your words. In general. For sure, yeah. I need to focus on doing that, too. Who are we going to reach out to? Let's see. I have some texts. Okay, now I'm just responding to texts. That doesn't count. Stoicism? Epicurean? Okay. Wait, Danique. Oh, yes. It was so nice today. All right, who are we going to reach out to? I don't know. I don't know. Who do I reach out to? What did she say? Personal or professional network? I don't know. I can't think of anyone or anything to do. I don't know. I just don't know. How about one of my yoga clients? Your phone told you to go to bed? I'm sorry. Well, you can go to bed. I am, right now what I'm doing is I'm taking the Smart Talk Challenge number one. I'm reading this book called Smart Talk. And on page 84, she said, choose one person in your personal or professional network and reach out to them right now. Choose a method of follow-up that you've never tried before. Go ahead. What are you waiting for? I'm not waiting for anything. There we go. I texted one of my yoga students. It's 11 p.m., but she won't care. Hey, artist in the house, Superman216. His name is Chris. He's the artist that designed my logo, which is probably at my P.O. box right now. I have to go get it. Choose one of us or the cat. Indecisiveness is what's going on. Yes, but not anymore because I decided. Yes, cunning linguists. CBT and Epictetus helps to understand that you only interpret things differently from what reality often be in short. Yeah, I watched that show Obsessed where they did cognitive behavioral therapy on people with OCD. You still have to send me that stuff. Yay! Good job. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it takes a little while sometimes. I'm not, a, I'm not a fast decision maker, but I can make a decision. It just takes me a little while. Okay. You don't want to? You don't have to. Go to LinkedIn, endorse someone. Oh, too late. I'm sorry. I didn't see that in time. Okay. I think I got all the comments right. I need black straps on my wings. I know. I need changeable ones. Sometimes these blend in. Sometimes they don't. But what Martin said to tell people is that I put the straps there just to make everyone think that the wings are f fake. Dragon wings would be cooler. Send them to me. No, you cannot marry me. I'm happily married, and please don't ask again, or you'll end up getting blocked. Black swan. We rest, wet rest when one is dry. Did you see the yoga tattoo? Yes, I did see that. That was cool. I need to get a yoga tattoo. I think I should. Hey, Jess. Hello. Everybody follow Jess DeBest. She does music trivia scopes, and she's also in the egg drop team. I don't have dragon wings. Oh. Well, what are we going to do about this? Smart talk challenge number two. Yeah, that was awesome. Right, Jen? Let's do it. Let's get one. We should all get one. 
You're about to do one now. What? Wait. 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 Crap. Crap, why is this chapter so long? Okay, wait, are we on chapter five or six? I mean, five or four. Oh yeah, no, it's only one more page. Okay, okay, I'll be right in. I'll be in soon. Hey, Charles. No tattoos for you. Wait, Jess, wait. Let me see how many views I have. No, I still don't have enough. I still don't have enough. I'm trying to get my gold badge. I guess I have to stop anyway because I have to go to bed at some point. You don't have to wait. You can go. Everybody follow her. She's going to do music trivia scope. I'll probably be in there. And I am going to... Yeah, you don't have to invite. It's okay because I'm probably about to end this anyway. Do I have a single sister? I actually do have a single sister. <laughs> oh, the peanut... The Oh, the peanut brittle? Oh, that was you that said ill? Oh, I deleted that comment. I didn't know it was you. I'm sorry. It will be creepy. Oh, that's okay. Sometimes people think that trolls would give me a lot of hate, and sometimes they just don't. Cunnest, cunning linguist is I. Good. Oh, thank you. Need a refill on some white? Ask her if she wants a smart, educated guy from California. I bet she would say no to that. <laughs> Choose the three most valuable contacts in your current network and think about what you could do to improve the relationship. I mean, no, I'm just telling you what my sister's taste is, and she would not be attracted with, to that pickup line. You've enjoyed this? Thank you, Steve. You need me to invite my trivia people? I'm sorry. There are, oh, I can do it on here. I can do it on my other phone. I'll, I, hopefully I won't forget. Just send someone from your scope into my scope if I forget, but just go live and then I'll invite people. Tell her I'm Mexican-American and voted for Trump. That? That might, that might actually, that might get you some traction. <laughs> now you're thinking outside the box. No, it's not a definite no. No, that would actually probably work well, actually. <laughs> I don't know if it's true, but it would probably work. <laughs> exactly, Chelsea, exactly. <laughs> Show the feet. Send handwritten letters, sending them thanks. Oh my gosh. When you're reading all the comments. Exactly, RC, that's exactly how it happens when this all gets really lit. It works for you. I have I scoped my pedicure last time I got one. Hey, Lou. So anyone who says anything perverted or rude gets blocked, and the only way you can get unblocked is by going to femyoga.com and sponsoring the channel for at least $5 or more and letting me know your username, and I'll give you a second chance not to say anything rude or perverted. You love, wait, what do you love? Investing in Wall Street and farming pistachios, almonds, and citrus. Wow, that sounds good. Are you in Florida? That would work out well. Yes, I'm still on. I'm looking for 2,000 followers or viewers so that I can get my average closer to that number, which is what it's supposed to be for a gold badge. Brandon, I haven't seen you on Scope all day. Are you working hard on Flow Room? I love it. Good stuff. Florida took a, a hit in the citrus industry. So they need you. You have to go help them now. All right, I gotta finish this. Choose the three most valuable contacts in your current network and think about what you could do to improve the relationship. Plan the what and when of your follow-up for these main contacts right now. Plan at least three follow-up activities for each. Put the activities into your calendar right now. Okay, I actually am gonna put one because I really have been procrastinating reaching out to my mentor, but now that I've made like $300 off my scope channel, I think I can reach out to him and not be scared. So let's do it. Sorry, I don't mean to ignore you guys. I'll be back. But I have been procrastinating this for a long time, so I'm just going to put it in my calendar to do tomorrow. And, and I have to send out my first newsletter, email newsletter thing. So if you guys want to see what that's all about, you can sign up for that at femyoga.com right on the home page. And hopefully I won't procrastinate it and I will send it out tomorrow. But I've been saying that for a long time. Can we read War and Peace? I don't have that book. So if there's any books you want me to read, you can send it to my PO box, which is also at femyoga.com. You're listening to Ground Zero. That sounds sweet. All right. Am I missing comments? Okay, whoa. The Asian Citrus Saliums. Hello, Brandon. What's your favorite stock right now? 
Okay, bye bye, sister in law. <laughs> bye. <laughs> bye, Angel. I'm tireless. One of the few interesting people on scope. You're so nice. I wish you had a picture. That's femyoga.com. Yes, Steve. Thank you. Yes, Chelsea. Well, actually, no, I can't really. I can come pretty close, but I can't. This challenge is actually hard because the people closest to you are sometimes hard to cultivate. That's true, Steve. That's so true. All right. What y'all? Whoa. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Let's focus. Smart talk challenge number three. Think about a topic that your prospects would find valuable. Write a 500-word article on the topic. Don't have writing skills? Hire someone to ghostwrite it for you. Send this article to the appropriate contacts in your network. We skip the case study and we're done. We'll be picking back up with chapter 5 on page 87. We got pretty far here today. Look. Look where we're at now. So the next one is called From Archie Bunker to Mary Poppins, How to Speak with Tact and Grace. Outsourcing is a good idea. I don't know why it's utterly ridiculous. I think it's a good idea. Okay. We got to finish this. We got to finish the scope. We got to get 2,000 views. We need 245 more views. You want to scope reading books? You should. Cyanide's been doing it. I love it so much. You're passionate about writing, so I, oh my gosh, Steve, if you like writing, make sure that you're following me, because I've been doing, for the next, I think, like, 24 days, or 25 days, or no, 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 at this point, what are we on? We are on day, like, 8, so 22 days, we're going to be doing stream of consciousness writing, thanks for inviting your followers, Steve, I really appreciate that, I know it was, you know, I think, I feel like I really had to work hard to earn it, so thank you, um, and thanks for coming back, Mur Murthy, whoa, I gave you a nickname. Uh, do I have a cool bookmark? Not really, but you should send me one. I use hair ties. That's what I use. A busted up hair tie. It's like about to rip. Oh, wait, I can't. <clears throat> look how big my hands look when they're that close to the screen. So it's like about to break into pieces, so it goes right there. Lame. It is a little lame, but that's why that's why I have, you know, I can work from home because I save all the money that I make. And that's why your sponsorships go to good use. We had another sponsor come in today, one of Cyanide's friends, Lou, sponsored us. Pretty cool stuff. 500 words. Yes. You have to find a phone that will let you. I know. Did you know that everyone should send me bookmarks? Yes. You just got a glass of white. Cheers. Um, yes. Jen, did you know that Cyanide got an iPhone? She, I told her, I was like, listen, the iPhone fixed everything for me. It was only 50 bucks on Craigslist. She found one. She bought it. She, it, was, it came in the mail today, and she started using it, and it's way better. Yeah, use the ears of strangers you meet. Yeah, so what have we learned today? We talked about biting the ears of strangers. Hello, Captain Obvious. I love your username so much. You have Chardonnay? This is a mixture of Cabernet Sauvignon and... Ooh, I forget what the other one was. I forget. It's still, it's over there. You'll have to do that. Yeah, I think so too. Oh, hello in England. Who am I talking to? Everyone in the in the room. Hello, Cash. <laughs> Biting ears? Yes, that was the main thing that we learned today. <laughs> Is that you go up to someone, a stranger, and you whisper in the ear, nice to meet you. And then you <sighs> bite their ear. It's supposed to work well. Yay! Look at all these people coming in to see us. All right. And I feel like I should read more of the book. Works for you every time. Should we read a little more? Just a little more. I'm in New York. Just a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. You have an ear necklace? That's really creepy. You're going to send it to me? That sounds actually pretty cool. Hey, Giant, how are you? Then ask about their pets. Pets is a good one. Pets is a good one. You love New York? Thank you, Warzel. Where are you from? Here. Okay, these are anecdotes. Talking about diplomacy, being politically correct. Whew, I don't really know that I like this. Don't criticize. Oh, dear. Be appreciative. See the other person's point of view. Be observant and know the players. Here you go, the art of war. As Sun Tzu said in the art of war, 
Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Tip two, learn to flex your communication style. Zombie ears. Oh, thank you, Bob. I will definitely make sure to procreate. Thank you for the encouragements. My husband's right over there. We're going to go procreate. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. Too much. Too far. Cross the line. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, okay. Wait. Here are the different communication styles. I like this. The scientific approach. A person who communicates using the scientific approach presents, sorry, prefers data and facts. Details and accuracy are very important. This person doesn't mind spending extra time to make sure things are right. When talking with this type of communicator, it's best to be specific, accurate, neat, and tactful. That's me. That's totally me. I spend all the time in the world talking about something totally random as long as we get it right. Oh, so that's also Steve. That's also Skills. Yes, Murthy, I drank so much Red Bull. No, I'm just kidding. I didn't. Manhattan in the house, Westchester County. Cool, we have a lot of New Yorkers here today. Flying Bobs, flaky zombie ears, blah. Um, I'm in upstate New York. Madison, Wisconsin loves New York, yay. He had an ear necklace? Wait, what? I thought you said you had an ear necklace. Toronto in the house, nice, hey Toronto. That's cool. Toronto with the scientific approach. Oh, you're in Florida now? Okay. The next approach is the team player approach. A person who communicates using the team player approach prefers to focus on maintaining relationships and maintaining security. This person is often relaxed, deliberate, and doesn't seek the spotlight. When talking with a team player communicator, you need to be positive, patient, and personable. Be sure to schedule time to chat and recognize his or her achievements. Oh, okay. Okay, Daryl stole the ear necklace. All right. You love the wings? Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The spirited approach. A person who communicates using the spirited approach. Yes, the snow is finally gone. It was like 75 today. Oh, the team player is also used to you. Well, let's see if this is you too. A person who communicates using the spirited approach is outgoing, flamboyant, energetic, and spontaneous. Thank you, Douglas. When communicating with a spirited communicator, crank up your enthusiasm level to keep up with theirs. That way, your message will be delivered at their comfort level. A fancy wing work, right? Can't do this side as well. I think it's because I'm like already turned at an angle. I don't know. Okay, anyway. <laughs> the results only approach. A person who communicates using the results only approach is very direct, practical, demanding, and to the point. Okay, no, I'm wrong. This is me. This is me. Yes, I'm a real angel. I'm not going to fly away. I'll stay here. The key to connect. Oh, wait. Many find this type of communicator to be brusque or difficult. The key to connecting with results-only types is to be brief, prepared, organized, and confident. Hey, thanks for inviting your followers, Douglas. I really appreciate that. Understanding your style and the styles of those around you will help you communicate effectively. Okay, so remember, the results-only approach, that's definitely me. That's me more than the, the first one. The spirited approach, the team player approach, and the scientific approach. It's like impossible to remember. No one's going to remember that. Okay, anyway. Choose your words carefully. Think and be open. This is not a dream book. This is about uh, public speaking. I shouldn't have said uh. It's a point against me. You feel more scientific, but I also feel that I have something from every approach. The Mike Tyson approach. Hey, bite the ear off. Relax your body and your face. You just got a point? Woo, yeah! I like spontaneity in a conversation. Me too. That's why I love Periscope so much. 
I'm going to have to have dinner soon, so I'll be dropping off, but you're adorable. Thank you. I appreciate the compliments, uh, but I am happily married, and we try to avoid things like that adorable, cute, sexy, hot, anything like that, just to make sure our boundaries are clear and established. So thank you again for the compliment, but we'll just leave that where it is. There are so many bobs in here. Is there really? Relaxing your face is huge. So important. That's true. You hate planned events. It makes some really good points. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, page one or two. Smart talk challenge number one. You live in a boundary-free zone. You're a free spirit. That's cool. Hello, Ken. Think about a recent real-life conflict or a situation with a coworker or business partner that you could have handled better. How could you have flexed your communication style to match theirs? Be as specific as possible. How might you have chosen your words differently? Some people call you a unicorn. I call my husband a unicorn. I gotta lay down the what? Lay down the laws to these little whippersnappers. You hate your neighbors? Oh no. Oh no, egg drop just crashed. No, I have too many things open. All right, I might be missing some comments, guys. Hopefully not. Why do I have wings? Is that the last one? No, I think that, I think. <laughs> Stop, do not instigate, do not instigate. <laughs> Smart talk challenge number two. They're trained now, what does that mean? Bunch of rednecks down here. Talk about an emotional or challenging topic in the mirror. I will trigger you. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's not that easy. It's not that easy. I know that for sure, especially on live scope. <laughs> Observe your face closely. Are you showing anger? Are you showing any negative emotions? And now record yourself talking about the difficult topic. Yes. Oh my gosh. I meant the other person was flying. I would be jealous. Oh, okay, okay. I've not had gator meat before, no. <laughs> I've been offered it before and I did not eat it. I might have tried it, I don't remember. I probably did try a little bit. It wasn't that memorable. <laughs> no, I didn't drink any Red Bull. Hey, Jimmy Jack. I hate looking in the mirror. Oh, no, that's so sad. Don't say that. Tastes like chicken. That's what I remember somebody telling me. Oh, thank you, Steve. Yes, I naturally smile because you guys all make me happy. All these comments are awesome. Can you hear any negativity in your voice? Try, oh, hey, Amanda, why the wings? Why not? Uh, try both again, this time eliminating any behaviors that were outward signs of your negativity. You snuck in, yes. I'm an angel, Donna. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Wait, you're telling her to check herself? <laughs> She's like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I love it. Yes, I need a halo. I totally do. What? <laughs> Smart talk challenge number three. Say what again? Spend an entire day focusing on appreciation. Throughout the day, make a point to show and share sincere appreciation for others. Headband halos. I know, I need to. I always preface my delivery with, excuse me. Sorry, Wigamane. Go the extra mile from an appreciation standpoint. Tell your family what it is that you appreciate about them. Yum! That sounds delicious. Just the wings? What do you mean by that? You don't like that? Okay, okay, moving on. Tell each of your employees the traits you appreciate in them. You like that? <laughs> thank you, Bob. Just the wings, no halo? Oh, okay, thank you. Appreciate the encouragement. <laughs> uh, tell your boss what you appreciate about him or her. 
At the end of your appreciation day, tell yourself what you appreciate about yourself. I feel like Wiggo would appreciate that comment. What do you appreciate about yourself? You don't talk to your family? And you a glittery halo? My husband would not like that. He doesn't like sparkly stuff. Hi, Lou. How are you? Appreciate and be specific. Yes, appreciation is a part of happiness. You are? You are what? You're feeling it? Awesome. I like it. I guarantee if you make a concerted effort at this, you will have a great day. Yes, glitter everywhere. You appreciate your thinness? That's good. That's very good. Okay. I'm being really bad right now. But all I need is 13 more views. I only need 13 more views. And smarts. I smell a PhD. You guys smell it? Oh, thank you, Steve. I try really hard, and people do say that they appreciate that a lot, so I try to. If you do not appreciate your boss, do you tell them the truth? I would say, what do you mean? What would the truth be? Only if it's constructive. You appreciate your laziness? <gasps> Thank you, Lou. Thanks for sharing this out. I really appreciate that because I need to go to bed at some point today. I, I woke up at a weird hour this morning and I did a sunrise scope. So if you guys want to check that out, feel free. Girls love being married. They think it's so fun. It is so fun. Do you love being married, babe? Yes. Absolutely. Do you think he's just saying that because he thinks he's supposed to say that? Very boring for me. Yay, the sunrise. Rex! Wait, Rex, do I know you? Wait, Rex, who are you? Never tell the truth if it's negative. Nothing but trouble. Yeah, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. It's a lot of work for guys. How is being married more work for guys than girls, Jimmy? Acknowledging comments is hard. That's why you have to have egg drop for sure. I'm at 2010. <gasps> Yay! Thank you guys so much. Thank you to everyone who invited. Too late. You already yelled Rex. Love the wingies. Thank you. It is a lot of work, but you just have to use egg drop and it will help you so much. Marriage is a ton of work for the guy. I heard you the first time, but why? Wait, why are you wearing wings? Why not? Why not? Why not? It's the stereotype that all guys just want to sleep around, so being tied down is hard. Is that what he's saying? Okay, so shout out to Marky J, shout out to Jen Jefferson, shout out to Jess, shout out to Steve, shout out to Douglas, and shout out to Lou. Those are my cool, great viewers that came in and they shared this out to their followers and helped us get to 2,000 so I can get closer to that gold badge. And we got together all the way to page 105 to chapter 6, which is called Fearless Feedback, How to Deliver Restorative Feedback. <laughs> I always felt like because I'm small, my clothes should have costed less. So, mm -hmm. Heli pilot, welcome. I feel like I would be a good pilot. I don't know about a helicopter, but I like flying planes. It, I like flying in planes. I think I would like to fly a plane. Who's the author? Lisa B. Marshall. I agree. I agree with what? Thank you for amazing content. Oh, thank you for amazing interaction, engagement, amazing follows, amazing comments, amazing sponsorships. If you like the content, you want me to keep this going, I can't do it completely for free, although my overhead is really low and I save all my money really pretty well. Um, I should take a flight lesson. Totally. That would be really fun to scope, wouldn't it? Um, you can join me. I already finished mine, but you can have yours now. Uh, you wouldn't use that with the amazing word. I don't. I don't know. I don't remember what I said. Amazing Mike Tyson advice. You're welcome, everyone. What was I? What was I saying before this? I lost my train of thought. Did I write that book? No. This is uh, Lisa B. Marshall. It's called Smart Talk. Can we do power lifting? You can do power lifting. I'm trying to figure out what I was talking about. Oh, I was just saying that you can sponsor the channel at femyoga.com. Can I give money without being blocked? Of course, of course, yeah, sponsorships. I have never had someone sponsor me for being unblocked so far. <laughs> we just started doing it maybe a week ago. A retelling of the Mike Tyson advice. Oh, thank you, was that Marty? Where are we here? Gotta go back to the top. Yes, thank you, Marty, I appreciate the compliment. <laughs> So they decided, so she said the challenge is to go meet a stranger every day, start up a conversation with a stranger every single day. 
This has been interesting. I'm glad you thought so, Wurzel. And they decided that what you should do when you're introducing yourself to these strangers is get really close to them, whisper in their ear, nice to meet you, and then bite their ear. I disagree, but th that's what they seem to, uh, yeah. I thought it was going to be legitimate. Yeah, no. <laughs> I love entrepreneurs and support you. <gasps> Yay! You're awesome, Steve. I'm going to follow you. I'm going to be Fem Yoga followed. It's happening. Where are you? And what I've started doing, actually, I'm not going to advertise this. I'm not going to put this on blast. So far, I have given moderation privileges to all of my sponsors because none of my sponsors have been people who are trying to get unblocked. I don't think I would give them moderation privileges, but the other ones pretty much do. Blind people think you're hot. Oh, that's nice. What's the book and author again? Smart Talk by Lisa B. Marshall. I'll leave this up for 10 seconds so you can take a screenshot if you like. Get the wings in there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's okay. You don't have to read it. That's why I come on here and read it to you. I have people come on. They say they, they I read them to sleep. You know, whatever works for you. Deaf people love you. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if I missed any comments, I pro I, or I apologize if I did. I appreciate you all. Bite their ears. Sounds like assault. Yes, it is assault. Uh-oh. Oh, it crashed. Did it crash? It crashed again. It crashed. Oh, good night. You stay amazing, Amanda. Make sure you guys are following Amanda. She has some really, really awesome scopes. And make sure you're following Jen and Rex. I don't know if Rex wants you to follow him. He doesn't scope as far as I know, but Jen is going to start scoping soon when she gets her new iPhone. You followed Amanda? Yay! She's awesome. She just scoped today. This has been amazing. What do I do? I am a yoga teacher, and I am a live show host. Okay, I think I got all the comments. I think I actually um, want... Oh, what? Hopefully soon. Yay! You're prepared. Me too. So, let's see. Thank you to all 2,093 people who popped in here. And you guys, if you ever see me go live and you can't hang around, following a yoga video and scoping that, yes, that would be so good. Stomach. Would like to try yoga. All right, join me tomorrow morning at every single morning, 8.30 a.m. New York time. I do the Fem Yoga Morning Show, so you can join me then which is in like nine hours, so I should probably get to sleep, get some dinner, get back to bed. And I was going to say one other thing. I'm going to block this person. Let's brawl. You want to fight right now? Let's fight. Here we go. Boom! I won! I just took you down. You just flat, flat on the floor. This has been another moment in time with Taylor. I hope to see you back at 8.30 a.m. tomorrow morning for the Fem Yoga Morning Show. And I hope to see you all back soon. Make sure that you're following me if you didn't. Yes, I did just fight you. You already lost. It's already over. It wasn't even a fight. Okay, bye.